Hello, my name is Ian Joyce from Bentley Systems, and I'm going to show you the site visibility tools in Open Roads Designer. Uh, let's have a look before we start at um, where we are. I'm in a blank file in here, and I've referenced in a corridor that's already been processed and uh, existing terrain and some geometry. That's what we've got to set ourselves up. Now, the site visibility tools, we find those on the terrain tool set under the Open Roads Modeling workflow. And here's site visibility. So we'll go straight into here and we'll see some results later. Um, as usual with Open Roads Designer, you can do a lot of your settings um, heads up, so you don't have to uh, fix things in here. But some of the things you might want to look at are the method you're going to use. As you can see, we've got some methods in here for different regions. I'm just going to use the table method today. And I've set the feature definition for uh, as site stopping distance. Uh, again, we um, hopefully understand that everything's featureized in Open Roads Designer. It makes work down the line a lot easier. Um, I could do full overtaking or stopping. I'm doing stopping site distance, so that's the one I'm going to select. And I'm going to go um, with a speed now. Because I'm using a table method, these are all the speeds that are in the table. So we'll go with a high speed first and see if we can um, invoke some uh, failure. That would be a good thing. So. It's automatically plugged in the required distance and the relaxed distance. The relaxed distance in our case here being an allowable distance. And the, uh, the settings file I've chosen has set the offsets for me, but you might want to change the offsets if uh, you were doing different, um, uh, different carriageway widths. I've set this to the middle of the inside lane. So we pick the corridor, which is this one here. And it says in here that we can uh, pick a, an alignment that controls the eye point. Well, I'm just going to use the main alignment. Now, this green line it's put in here is set at the offset values here. So you can see it's negative. My chainage or station is running uh, in this direction. And it doesn't really matter whether we're driving left side or right side. We can we can use um, a stop a start position as a high chainage and a stop position as a low chainage. It really doesn't matter. So we'll reset to do the main alignment for the eye, and the object will also reset for the main alignment for that also. And now we're prompted for start and stop locations, and of course we could go Alt to go to the beginning and Alt to go to the end. I'll just start here. And I shall finish over here somewhere. Uh, once we get onto the straight, we shouldn't have any trouble with visibility, hopefully. And now it's asking us for the existing surface. Now that, that's useful because uh, we, obviously the existing surface could be obscuring uh, things within the design. And then we just data point to accept that. OK, so after processing, we see the results. So let's have a look at those. And we see the graphics in the background. So it seems as though we have um, some acceptable data here, some very acceptable data here, and then some failures. And of course, we, uh, we can see these in clearly, clearly in color coded uh, for us. And again, you can see that in the background. So if I turn things off like the achieved and the relaxed, it's just focusing in, in the plan here on the, um, the unachieved or not achieved sections. So that gives me something that I can either choose to uh, amend my design, pull back the, but the, uh, the side slopes perhaps to give me vis visibility across this rather tight corner or not, or choose a different speed. Now we can um, report this data out. Now this is a site visibility report and we've chosen in this report to color code things, the text in here, which is quite nice. So if we were to print that out, we could see things clearly in color code. However, um, this was rather too quick for this this road. This, this road is not 120 kilometers per hour road. It's a lot slower than that with these bends. So let's get rid of the, the data in here that we've done. Now, this is part of an open roads model. So we can go to Explorer. We can go to uh, the model, the open roads model, and we can pick the data that we've got. And this is the one we created. So we can right click on that and get rid of it. We can look at the results again if we wish. 
uh, but I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to repeat the process but this time we'll go with the uh, slower speed. So same as before we use the same settings files, same table. Um, we're going to do again it's a uh, stopping distance and this time we'll go with a speed that is a little bit more um, pertinent to this road design. They are rather tight corners. Again, notice that the stopping distances are, are lower because of the slower speed. Again, same process as we did before. So we pick the pick the uh, the corridor. We reset for the main alignment for the uh, iron object, and then we just choose where we want to do this from and to. Locate the existing surface and data point to accept, and we let this go away and process again. Okay, so now we can see our results and uh, hopefully everything's going to be achieved. It looks like it is, which is good. So uh, we can close those results again. We can report on those results if we want to. Everything's green in here uh, and that's a good thing. So again, we're just going to go and visually uh, see that everything is in green. Obviously, with a slower speed, it, it's looking good. And we can see those lines, not only do we see them in the 2D, but if we look at it in 3D, we will see um, all of that data too. So let's do that. Let's go for a, a plan in 3D. And we can see those lines in 3D in here for us, which is great. So as we can see in the 3D view there, we can see the... Um, the visibility lines and by changing the offset we can get those um, uh, in the middle of the outer lane if we wish uh, and of course by using a positive um, offset we can go on the other carriageway it just depends whether in your local region you drive on the left the right and so on So that's site visibility. It's not too difficult. Uh, just need the settings in your local region uh, with your local um, table values for stopping distance and overtaking. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.